out of all the ski lines in the White Mountains, Damnation Gully is probably the most serious. It almost always forms as an alpine ice climb, but even in the best conditions, there's still a huge rappel in the middle. So you need to not only be an expert skier, but you need to have knowledge in the rock and ice disciplines in order to make the anchors for the rappel. Skiing damnation from the top has always been a goal of mine. And with such a good season under our belt, including other rare ski mountaineering descents, we were feeling like it was game time. Damnation Gully has a more southerly aspect. So while we waited for the solar gain in the morning, we decided to ski cold snow that hadn't warmed yet on the east aspects. After a few epic runs in Tuckerman Ravine, the southerly aspects were starting to warm. It was time to go. We gathered up our gear and headed over to Huntington Ravine. I almost never approach a line like this from the top. But with all the beta we had from Brett's previous attempt just a couple days ago, and being able to see the line in its entirety on our hike up in the morning, we knew where the ice bulge was and we had a good idea of what the snow was going to be like. The only thing we didn't know was what the entrance was going to be. I opted to go in on belay to make sure that we had a clean entry. Yup, I see it! And there's totally an entrance right there we can use. The upper part of Damnation Gully was worth the wait. It's majestic with its meandering rock walls and sections of blue ice. Final moves before the ice bulge are the most nerve-wracking because there's a crux just 50 feet above where the ice bulge actually is. As I started to ski closer to the edge, I began to look for cracks in the rock where I could potentially get in the rappel anchor. Over to the left side of the chute, I managed to find a corner where I could get a few nuts in.
Oh man. Oh, that feels good. Wow. During the silent moment I had at the bottom of the ravine while I waited for Brett to ski to me, I had some time to reflect on what it took for me to ski a line like that. I was grateful for who these mountains shaped me to be and excited for the adventures I get to continue to have in them. Ha, ha, ha.